Man, this is so delicious! I could eat this every day and still not get tired of it. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I'm glad I ordered the most expensive thing on the menu for us. Wait, why do I only get cucumber rolls? How is this fair? My name is Manami Tanaka, and I'm 30 years old. I work from home, and I'm a freelance web designer. I married my husband, Takuya, who's 10 years older than me, three years ago. We've been living happily ever since getting married, but as you can see, my mother-in-law doesn't like me very much, and now she's bullying me. Uh, wait, why did you only get cucumber rolls, Manami? Well, I actually... She said she wasn't feeling too well. I think it's her time of the month, you know. I think we should just leave her be. She shut me down before I could answer my husband's question. Man, she really doesn't want me to tell him the truth, huh? I never told her I wasn't feeling well. I'm doing great, actually. And my mother-in-law ordered this sushi by herself after telling me that she wanted to have sushi delivered to the house today. That was fine and all, but I didn't think that she'd only order cucumber rolls for me. I wanted to eat the other stuff on the menu, too. This isn't fair, and that wasn't it. I had to pay for all the food myself. How does that make any sense? <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go upstairs and attend that meeting real quick, so I'll see you guys later. Wait, but I thought you were done for the day already. Well, sometimes I have to do meetings with clients that are only free at night. It happens. I see. You're always so hardworking. I'm really proud of you, Takuya. Thank you for all your hard work. My mother-in-law moved in with us about a month ago. Her husband actually passed away about a year ago from illness, and she was super shocked when that happened. Takuya felt bad for her, so we decided to let her move in with us to ease her loneliness. And until she moved in with us, I had no idea that she was this petty and mean. We used to visit her about once a month when her husband was still alive, but back then she was always kind to me. I guess her husband was still there to monitor her back then, so she was probably hiding her true self in front of everyone. Um, why did you only get cucumber rolls for me? Oh well, you don't work, do you? You don't bring in any money for our family, so you have no right to demand anything more than what you're getting. Actually, you should be grateful that I was kind enough to order you anything. Um, but I actually paid for this meal myself, and so I think... But you got that money from Takuya, didn't you? He gave you that money, so it's technically not yours. Oh, and by the way, I was meaning to ask, do you really go to cooking school? Huh? The reason I ordered sushi today was because I was tired of eating the disgusting meals you cook for us every day. I was living with my parents until I got married with Takuya, so I didn't really have any experience with cooking. And so, I started going to cooking school to get better when I got married. And even now, I'm still going. It's become like a hobby for me. When the hell are you going to start making food that's edible? I haven't had anything that I found decent since I moved in with you guys. But I thought my meals had been fine. Well, you can't just make food and serve it. Are you thinking about the balance of sodium, iron, and protein in the meals you cook? But you finished every single meal I've served you since you got here. That's three meals a day for a straight month. And you get mad when I don't make you anything. I always make whatever she asks for, even when I'm busy. I always try my best to meet her demands, but... And I consider the balance of my meals as well. They teach you how to do that sort of stuff in cooking school. You're a stay-at-home wife, and you're not doing your job properly. You're an embarrassment to our family. Um, I've already told you this, but I actually do have a job. I work from home. <laughs> That's funny. All you do is just in front of your computer all day and type a few words out. That's not a real job. But I'm a web designer. I have to use my computer to get work done. You always call yourself a designer, but that's just an exaggeration, isn't it? You've never had any of your designs featured in a magazine or a fashion show. That means you're not a real designer. Uh, but, uh, but that's not what my job is even about. I guess my job is hard to understand for people in her generation, since it's relatively new and has a lot to do with technology. I understand that, but working from home has always been a thing, so she could at least show some understanding towards that aspect of my job. We can put food on the table because of my son, but you're out here being selfish and naive. And after saying that, my mother-in-law went upstairs to her room. Right back at you. You're the selfish one here. You get a couple hundred bucks from your pension funds every month, but you barely contribute when it comes to paying the bills. You're basically living here for free. But that went on for a while, and I was getting really tired of having to deal with my mother-in-law. That was when... Monami, I'm so sorry, but I gotta go on a business trip until next Friday. It really just popped out of nowhere. Really? I've never been alone with my mother-in-law for an entire day ever since she moved in with us. I thought about telling Takuya about what has been going on between his mother and me, but I decided to keep it to myself until he got back from his business trip, because I didn't want to worry him unnecessarily. God, I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, have a slave flight, alright? 
Yeah, thanks. If something happens, just call me right away, all right? God, this isn't that serious, Mom. And so my mission to survive with Takuya's mother for a whole two days began. All right, Manami. Get the car ready for me. Huh? We're going to the city. Can't you see that I'm ready to leave? I, I guess she's wearing nicer clothes than usual, but why does she want to go to the city? There's buses that take you there, you know. What? I don't want to have to pay for the bus. You're bored, right? You can just take me to where I need to go. Well, I need to get some work done. And besides, you get a discount because you're over 65, right? So just use that. Oh, shut up. You can do your work some other time. Sure. I obviously didn't want to have to take her to the city. But if I did drive her there, I can enjoy a little peace and quiet while she's out of the house. And so I made up my mind and decided to drive her there. <sighs> Can't you just do what I tell you? I don't think that it needs to be this hard. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. And you're just so inefficient at everything. Take today, for example. It took you five minutes to get the car ready. Five precious minutes. You took your sweet time, didn't you? I thought I was pretty quick, especially because I didn't know I was going to have to drive you out to the city today. I would like for you to break up with my son, but I can't force you guys to get a divorce. Takoya seems to like you very much, and I don't want to make him feel lonely or cry, you know? I wish you would just find another girl and move on from you. I'll move on from me? By the way, when the hell are you going to move out of that house, huh? What do you mean? Oh, you can't even understand English now? I mean exactly what I said. When are you moving out? But that house is ours. Well, my son was the one that paid for it, right? That means it belongs to the Tanaka family. And who's the head of the Tanaka family right now? That's right. It's me. So I basically own that place. No. That makes absolutely zero sense. What the hell is she even talking about? But if you want to stay, then you better start doing a better job at handling the chores. Do you realize that you married into our family? You need to stop putting shame on the Tanaka name. Well, I did change my last name to Tanaka after marrying his son, but you're seriously going to tell me that I should stay in and handle all the chores when my husband works and you slack off? Newsflash, we're in the 21st century now, and that kind of thinking isn't relevant anymore. We don't live in the Stone Age, for God's sake. She continued to shame me and bully me in the car. That car ride to the city felt like it lasted for hours. All right, we're here. God, you're a terrible driver, aren't you? I feel sick thanks to you. I'm actually about to throw up. But you were talking for the entire time. All right, just wait here for me, okay? Huh? I'll be back in a bit, so don't go anywhere. My mother-in-law opened the door, exited the car, and slammed the door shut. Oh, so I'm your personal driver now? God, this is so ridiculous. I waited for her in the same spot for about 10 minutes, but she didn't return. I tried calling her, but she wouldn't answer any of my calls either. God, I can't believe I waited for her. I should go home. And five hours later, my mother-in-law finally called me. I was so fed up with her at that point. She said she'd be back in a bit, didn't she? It's been five hours. So I ignored her phone call and continued on with my work. God, why is she still calling me? Oh, wait, this is from Takuya. I should answer this. Hey, did my mom call you by any chance? Oh, yeah, she did. Then why didn't you answer her? Does he have to talk to me that way? But I guess he doesn't know what's going on right now. My mom tripped in the middle of the night and now she can't get on the bus. Then she should just get a taxi. She said she twisted her ankle pretty badly, and she wants to go and see the doctor. You have an insurance card at home, right? Can you bring that to her? That sounded like it was a lie my mother-in-law made up, but I decided to go because I didn't know for sure. I didn't want to be scolded later for not picking her up, so I headed to the address that my husband gave me. Hey, Manami, why the hell did you go home? I told you I'd be back in a bit, didn't I? What were you thinking? But it's been five hours already. That's not just a bit. But anyway, are your legs all right? It's fine now. It got better when I was waiting for you. <laughs> that healed fast. What kind of legs does she have? Anyway, carry this for me. She handed me about a dozen shopping bags full of stuff she bought, and I made my way back to the car even though I could barely see. God, this is the absolute worst. So this is what's going to happen every time Takuya isn't home? All right, we're here. Good. Then bring the stuff inside. My mother-in-law just walked back inside, and I had to carry all of her bags in. God, I haven't made any progress with my work today. And so I went back to work to make up for my lost progress. But that's when I heard my mother-in-law knock on my door very aggressively. Hey, Manami, why the hell is dinner not ready yet? Well, take a guess. It's because I was busy taking care of your stupid ass. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have time to make anything today. Let's get something delivered to us. What? So you're going to abandon your only responsibility and order food? You should have all the time in the world. You don't even have a job. But for the millionth time, I do have a job. But I guess it's better than having to eat the disgusting meals you cook. So, where are you going to order food from? I can just send the order through the Moni Eats, so I can get anything you'd like if they do takeouts. 
Moni Eats? What the hell is that? Oh, well, it's an app where you can get things delivered to you. What the hell is an app? Well, you can go here to order anything you'd like. And then the people that work for Moni Eats can deliver the food to you. And so, I showed her the screen where you order food on Moni Eats. What the hell is this? This seems so suspicious. This can't be a legitimate business. What do you mean? They do takeouts from all over the city, so we can get whatever we want. But you're basically taking advantage of those poor delivery workers. That's just not fair. And since the people delivering the food aren't of very high quality, you bet the food you can order on there isn't either. But that's not how it works. You can order food from expensive restaurants too, you know. You always have a choice, and most of them are delicious. Just cancel the order and start making dinner for us. But I told you that I don't have time today. And besides, I thought you didn't like the food I cook. This is perfect for you. Shut up! You married into this family, did you not? That means I'm basically your mother, and so you have to listen to what I say. You should never say no to your mother. This is why your cooking skills haven't improved at all. My mother-in-law walked into my room without my permission and pulled out the cord that connected my computer to the outlet. What the hell are you doing? All right, now you can't do any work anymore. That means you have time to cook for me. Now get to it, would you? Fine. I was super angry, but I tried to hold my frustrations in. There was no point in getting all mad at her now. I have to hold it in until Takuya gets back. You know what? I've had enough. I'm going to tell Takuya everything. Let's see how you like that, huh? And so the next day, I decided to carry out a certain plan. Hey, I'm going to go to the station to pick Takuya up. I'm going to. I knew you were going to say that. And that's why I asked. Really? All right. Then let's go together. And so my mother-in-law and I got in the car and headed to the station together. Oh, hi there, Takuya. Welcome back. Welcome back, son. Nice seeing you again. Yeah, thanks for coming to pick me up, guys. Oh, by the way, Mom, is your legs all right? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, come on, stop joking around. Or was that whole thing completely made up? N no, I wasn't lying about that. It still hurts a bit, but it got better really quickly. Huh? Uh, but I thought that it was bad enough for you to see the doctor. Oh, well, I was just confused is all. Anyway, I'm good now, so you don't have to worry about me. Well, okay. I, I mean, if you're fine, then that's good. But uh, thank you for handling all that, Monami. No worries. I would do anything for my mother-in-law. <laughs> um, are you all right, Monami? You, uh, I feel like you're acting weird. No, I'm fine. But anyway, do you want to grab some sushi on the way home? I couldn't eat any the last time we had some, so... Oh, that's a great idea. You want to go to the place that we always go to then? You like that place, right, Mom? Yeah, as long as you're fine with it, Takuya. And so when we got to the sushi restaurant, we were taken to a small room at the back of the building. I'd like to have a special course meal right here. As soon as she saw the menu, my mother-in-law found the most expensive item on the menu and ordered it right away. What about you, Manami? You didn't eat much last night, did you, Manami? Are you not feeling well? I don't think you should eat anything fishy if you're not feeling well. Maybe you should just get cucumber rolls again. Oh, there it is again. She always does this. She pretends like she's worried about me and attacks me. I was waiting for this to happen. Huh? Uh, wait, are you feeling all right? This has been happening a lot lately, huh? Yeah, actually. Oh, wait, are you going to tell us that you're pregnant? So I'm finally getting a grandchild, huh? Yes, I've waited so long for this moment. Well, I've not been feeling very well because you've been bullying me lately. Huh? M Manami? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, so you don't understand English now. I said I feel like crap because you're always bullying me. I had you take you to the city and pick you up because you didn't want to ride the bus yesterday. I was going to get some work done, and then you demanded that I make dinner for you instead of getting something delivered to us. And then you even shut off my computer. Uh, wait, is that true? I've never seen her doing something like this to you. Well, she's been bullying me ever since she moved in with us, and she does it behind your back. I thought I was in the wrong at the beginning, so I didn't say anything, but I'm tired of dealing with her. I've had enough. Hey, you can't lie about this sort of stuff like that. It isn't fair. I know you might not like me very much, but I'm just telling you these things because I want to help you grow as a person. I obviously had no intentions of bullying you. Oh, I wonder if you'd still say the same thing after hearing this. And so I started playing the recording I had saved on my phone. I recorded our conversation when we were trying to order the takeout for Moni Eats, thinking it would be useful in the future. Uh, what the heck is this? Is this actually my mother's voice? Yeah, it sounds exactly like her, doesn't it? Well, this was just because I was a bit tired and... I got a little defensive. I was only trying to help you learn something. Oh, I see. Then care to explain this? Were you trying to help me learn when this happened as well? And so I played the recording that I saved when we were in the car on the way to the city. I got this recording by downloading the footage my dash cam took onto my phone. Mom, this is unacceptable. Uh, I was only trying to put her in her place. She's a housewife. She should know what her responsibilities are. 
But she has a job too, Mom. You know this. She's working from home now, and she actually makes more than me. Wait, what? You remember that expensive bag I bought you for your birthday last year, right? The one for your favorite brand? Well, Mommy paid for almost all of that, you know? That was really expensive. And I was reluctant to buy something that expensive for you because I wasn't making that much. But Monami was the one who was still willing to pay for it because she thought of you as an important family member. If I had known that she was like this, I wouldn't have gotten her that damn present, though. That's not... I didn't say anything because I didn't want to embarrass your son. But I'm actually very successful, you know? Whatever, let's just order a sushi first. Excuse me, could you get the owner in here? You can tell him that Manami wants to see him. And shortly after that, the owner came rushing over to my seat. Hey, Manami, how you doing? It's been a minute. I'm doing well, how are you? Good, oh, how was the sushi that we delivered to you the other day? Your mother-in-law ordered them for you guys, right? Yeah, the cucumber rolls were delicious. Wait, they only had cucumber rolls? That's strange, you never ordered those here. Well, my mother-in-law didn't let me eat anything else and she thought I wasn't working and that meant that I didn't deserve to eat anything expensive. Uh, wait a minute, I thought you felt sick that day. Well, no. I didn't want to ruin the dinner and the cucumber rolls were pretty good, so I didn't want to complain. Huh? Wait a minute, though. I thought you were very successful at your job. You designed our poster for us and you even made us the website. Th that can't be true. There's no way she could ever get a client like you guys. Well, I'm very well known in the industry. I thought I already told you this. But, as a woman, it's not enough to be just good at your job, isn't that right, sir? You also have to be good at handling the chores for your family. Well, I guess that could be nice too, but... See? The owner agrees with me. That means I'm right and you're wrong. You're just terrible at everything you do, whether that be cooking or cleaning. You're just not talented. Did you just say that she's a bad cook? Yeah, she says she attends a cooking class every week, but she hasn't gotten any better since she started. She's just a terrible learner. The class probably isn't doing her any favors either. I wonder which asshole is teaching her. Maybe a witch is teaching her. <laughs> that would explain things now, wouldn't it? When my mother-in-law said that, the owner's smile turned upside down. It seemed like that pissed him off. Oh shoot, I wasn't expecting this to happen. Well, you'd be surprised to learn that my wife is the one who's actually teaching those classes. What? Yeah, the owner's wife hosts cooking classes on the weekends. I can't let you talk crap about my wife like that. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to leave. Oh, well, your wife isn't to blame. This idiot here is just a slow learner. Well, there's no way her students aren't becoming better cooks. And besides, the miso soup that we were gonna serve you today was made by my wife. The witch can't cook, right? So why waste your time eating here? And you have no right to eat because you don't work. Isn't that right, Mom? Hey, you too, Takuya? Anyway, I'm not gonna serve you anything. You gotta leave my restaurant right now. No way! And that's when my mother-in-law ran out of the restaurant in tears. Under the original plan, I was going to serve her cucumber rolls like she did to me, but I guess this works too. <laughs> I'm so sorry about your mother, sir. Well, you don't have to apologize for anything. I've heard a lot of good things about you from Monami, and everything has been positive. Uh, really? God, you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> but it took you long enough to realize what your mother's been doing to me, didn't it? I'm gonna have to take off points for that. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, honey. Anyway, could we get the usual? You know, the special hidden course meal? Of course, we'll get it all ready for you right away. And so we were able to enjoy the special meal that isn't even on the menu. And when we got back home from eating the meal, we found that the kitchen and living room had been completely trashed. What the hell is this? Is she trying to cause us more trouble? Yeah, this is unacceptable. That's right. This is unacceptable. This happened because your wife didn't clean at all while you were away. You really expect us to believe this entire house got this dirty over a span of a day? Shut up! You need to clean this up right now because this is getting ridiculous. <sighs> but I guess it's a good opportunity. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, what the hell? Why isn't there anything here? Well, because you told me to clean everything up. I did as you said. But where the hell did you put the couch and the TV? Well, it's gone now. We're moving out of here. They moved out all the furniture for us already. What? We've actually been renting this place and we were finally able to purchase our own home in a nearby town. They're done with the construction, so we're moving there now. Moving out? Yeah. We were gonna tell you later as a surprise, but I don't ever wanna have to spend another day with you under the same roof. So I discussed this with Takuya, and we decided to move out of here without you. Huh, that's funny. I'm glad you're gonna be gone. Don't you come crying back to me, all right? Huh? I think you're not understanding things properly here. Takuya is moving out with me too. And that's when Takuya came into the room to clear things up. 
I'm sorry, but I can't live with someone that would constantly mistreat my wife. And besides, I married Monami, not you, and I have a responsibility to protect her. But who the hell do you think raised you, huh? Well, I can appreciate you for doing that for me, but that doesn't mean that I can continue to live with you. But, but then what am I supposed to do? This is my home. I talked with a friend of mine who works at a retirement home. We're going to discuss the details of your move further into the future. Wait a minute. You're not going to put me in a retirement home, are you? I don't want that. What you want doesn't matter. Anyone 65 years or older can enter a retirement home and there's plenty of options around here. No, but I'm still young. Then are you going to stay here? That means that you got to start working then again to pay the rent and utilities here. That's not... I think you should go to the retirement home. They'll treat you very well there. You remember how you forgot about breaking your leg the other day? You might have Parkinson's, so you should let the pros handle things. I... And they're going to take care of all the chores for you. Everything from cleaning to cooking, they'll do anything. Yeah, you better not bully the staff there. And so we went our separate ways. We moved into our new home, and my mother-in-law went to a retirement home. Man, I can't believe that was only a month. It felt like it went on for much longer. I'm so sorry about everything, honey. You know what? It's fine. We were able to move here without your mother-in-law, so I guess it kind of worked out. The timing was perfect, too. You might be right. And now at the retirement home, my mother-in-law is getting bullied by some of the other elderly residents there that are much older than her. Good. She deserves it. Keep it coming, ladies. <laughs>